out of the blocks three years ago. First as a world-class long jumper. Only one man in history has ever flown farther. His ability to explode to the tape has earned him the current acclaim as the world's fastest human. And Lewis sees his international fame as a positive motivator. He gave me a shot of confidence in the arm. I've always been a very goal-oriented athlete. I've set my goals, distances, times, and shot for them. And that's what's been the key to my performance and the key to my being able to stay at the top. People ask me, do you ever dream about setting the world record? Do you ever dream about the perfect jump? At those, I say no, but I dream about how this might be to finally have the world record, to be able to say that finally I've had, I'm the best performer of all time in the long jump. I have the best performance. I've been the world champion and everything. It's just fulfillment because inside Carl Lewis right now, I feel it, the capability of being the best long jumper of all time as well as best sprinter. So in doing these things and going out and trying to be the best and rank number one in the world and trying to set world records, and trying to win performances, that just puts together a puzzle inside of Carl Lewis, and it makes that puzzle into one big piece that is the best person of all time. Jesse Owens is probably the most influential person in my sports career. When I was a younger athlete, 12 years old to be exact, I won a track meet at a Jesse Owens local track meet, and I went on to the Nationals. Well, that year, Jesse Owens gave me a lot of encouragement by saying that I was a very, very determined athlete due to the fact that I was a small person and I was able to beat all these big guys that were standing next to me. And from that time on, I've looked up to Jesse Owens, and I think that the things that he's done, the things that he stood for, the people he's been involved with, and the people he looks after have all been very, very good. I just want you to just, you know, feel that drive off the front block, you know. Put pressure on the back block to drive off the front block. My normal training days are not normal, <laughs> because I am a long jumper. I am a 100-meter man. Now I've branched out to 200 meters. Uh, my days consist of 500 breakdowns one day, long jump days where I actually just take short run approach jumps, starts, and 200-meter days, which I take starts and run four or five 200 meters. Um, approach days where I work on my approach to the long jump, and then usually on Fridays, we're off, or else I'll do some 300 meters. He's really pretty even temperament. He doesn't have any highs and lows. He's pretty even. He's a very easy person to coach. And I think that his stability and, and uh, as a person probably is his strongest asset. Carl Lewis <clears throat> thinks he can be involved in a lot of things. And he has the utmost confidence, maybe even more than he does in sport. And um, he's just looking forward to a very illustrious career after sport.